Our position preview for BYU football focusing in on the special teams. And dare I say, we might have some significant weaponry there that we're not talking a lot about. Maybe that's the undervalued part of BYU football right now is the special teams. No, undervalue everything. Okay. The coach is Ed Lamb, the best player. I don't know. Yeah, no idea. Skyler Southam, field goal kicker maybe. Red Almond, a punter. Zane Anderson is the gunner. He's been really effective in downing punts inside the 10. Yeah, Red Almond kind of got left out of the conversation when we found out about Danny Jones coming from New Zealand and Skyler Southam. Oh, sorry, Australia. Huge difference. Skyler Southam. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, Johnny Linehan. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, Danny. Uh, I will say this. Red Almond start a, a war, man. He has tried really hard to remain relevant, and to his credit, he has. Yes, he's become a good punter. Yeah. He's going to be the probably the backup field goal kicker. Newcomers to watch. We talked about it. Skyler Southam, Wasatch High School up in Heber. All American. All American before his mission. Uh, he's back. He's the scholarship to place kicker. BYU generally has one kicker, one punter on scholarship. Danny Jones from Australia, from Pro Kick. Uh, he's here to punt, man. He's here to punt, and he is a big dude. So Ed Lamb went and got him. Those are some newcomers to watch. Okay, the two deep. Behind Skyler Southam, Red Almond. At kicker. At kicker. He's Red Almond's the only one on the roster that has significant game experience right now kicking yeah, field goals. And, and he's been the starting kicker basically the last you know year and a half, shared with Jake Oldroyd until Jake got hurt. Okay, and at, and at punter right now, is Red Almond the number one? He might be. I think it's he or Danny Jones. Not not exactly sure. Uh, the holder is Gavin Fowler. He did that last year. Of course, Blaine's son, who was just in here. The deep snapper is Mitch Harris. Uh, Matt Foley had offseason shoulder surgery. Gavin Fowler is the backup deep snapper, by the way. Pretty crazy, right? So yeah. if, if Mitch Harris somehow got hurt and Matt Foley wasn't ready for some reason, Gavin Fowler would come in and long snap. And who would hold? I'm not sure who the backup placeholder is, but that's breaking it down deep. The point is, BYU, and the big question here, can Skylar Southam make 40 plus, 45 plus yard field goals? We got a note in the last scrimmage, he kicked like a 47, 48, 48 yard field goal. Right down goal the middle, and crushed through it. the uprights, crushed it. So right. here, here's the thing since 2005, let's say Bronco Mendenhall on, okay? Yeah. BYU's made 54% of its 40 plus yarders, okay? Oh. Let's talk about 50 plus, 17%. BYU's 2 and 12. Since 2005 from 50-plus. There are six seasons since 2005 where BYU didn't even attempt a 50-yard. Lee Johnson. Didn't even try. Lee Johnson told us that in the college game from 40-plus, you need to be 80% to feel good. 54%. Okay, as an independent from 2011 on, BYU has not made a 50-plus yard field goal. I hate that stat so much. Red Allman made a 46-yarder at Fresno State last year. That was the longest field goal from BYU since 2011. Are you kidding me? So in independence. Are you kidding? Me? That means the in ball independence. Gets, that yes. tied the long. You get to the 29 and you can't score? Come on. I think Skylar Southam could change that for BYU. The hope was that Justin Sorensen would do that a few years ago. Skylar Southam is the next iteration of the All American kicker that hopefully can win BYU a game or two that it wouldn't have won otherwise. I think he is the most undervalued, perhaps, part of the entire team and the influence he could have on winning. Will Skylar Southam at any point in his career kick a 50-plus yard field goal and end this abysmal drought for the BYU kicking? Hopefully, because guess what? Utah's Matt Gay made five of six last year from 50-plus. Oh. BYU doesn't even 